Hello YouTube. Today I'm gonna show you how to connect OpenCV SDK with Android Studio. So uh, there is a lot of video about the OpenCV connection with Android, but unfortunately, it uh, it was on the Eclipse, which is very old and not supported by the Google now. So today I want to save your time and make the tutorial about the configuration of OpenCV and Android Studio. So first of all, you need to download OpenCV from this link opencv.org. Oh, sorry. I have no internet connection here. Oh, what I hear. Okay, I need to connect with internet connection. <coughs> Sometimes uh, internet connection here is very slow, but usually it it is fast. But I don't know today. I I lost internet connection. Okay. So here we go to the download, download, and find the OpenCV 2.4.9. This is a uh, release 2014. But uh, the reason why I use this uh, 2.4.9 version is a lot of um, uh, application I already uh, developed on this uh, uh, this OpenCV version so I uh, make the tutorial for uh, this version of course other uh, version of OpenCV would be same so download OpenCV for Android here okay so after download the OpenCV uh, SDK 2.4.9 it take uh, it take uh, about a minute depend on your uh, internet connection so I already have the OpenCV download downloaded in my PC so I did not uh, download it again after have uh, OpenCV uh, downloaded uh, you guys open the extract open and extract file to the C drive here C drive directly to the C drive so uh, as you can see in here we have some uh, folder in in the OpenCV like APK doc samples SDK the most important is a uh, SDK because in here we have uh, we have uh, Java OpenCV for Java and OpenCV for C++. So let's make a new project. <clears throat> let's make a new project for OpenCV. Just uh, call it. Make a file new and new project. And we'll call this is a uh, OpenCV test. OpenCV test. Oh, the first character should be the capital. It's capital. OpenCV test. And the company domain, I call this as cvlab.example.com. So you can specify your own company domain. After that, we hit next. A API adding is okay and hit next choose the empty activity the main activity and hit finish okay so it take for a while to build the gradle oh. uh, I don't know here is a 
the um, computer in Korean I do not understand much Korean so I just uh, use uh, the English version so it take for a while here depend on your your power of uh, computer yeah it should be uh, compiled without error okay <coughs> After that, we go into the file and new and import model. Import model and source in the source directory, we go into the OpenCV Android SDK and uh, and go to the Java. Select Java folder and hit next and finish <clears throat> okay so the, the the compiler will build the greater again build, build the greater again if after building uh, this greater with the OpenCV if you see any error so you must go into the build grader and select uh, correct the build tool version, the compiler SDK version, and uh, the target SDK version, which is you already install in your computer. So here I I have uh, every SDK version, so it compiles without error. So then we we go to the project structure and app and go to the dependencies and add the model dependencies here we have OpenCV library 2.4249 and hit I select it and hit OK so it quite long it quite slow when we develop the application uh, for Android using using the Android Studio, Studio compared with uh, Visual Studio. Visual Studio is very fast and uh, it support and I mean Visual Studio support very powerful debug so we can uh, see the error line by line debug line by line and see easily find the error okay so after that we go in here right click on the app new and uh, folder and select j9 folder hit the change folder location and we will create a new folder named j9 leap J9 lips. Hit finish. Okay. So we'll go into the uh, OpenCV Android SDK, go to the Java and native and lips. Copy all the CPU uh, structure in here. Copy and paste to the folder we just uh, create name JNI lips hit OK <coughs> so after that we have all the library uh, corresponding to each uh, CPU, stru CPU structure ok so now we already finished uh, configuration with the OpenCV <clears throat> and then uh, now we are ready to code some OpenCV uh, fragment to test our con configuration so first we'll create a global uh, global variable 
name private uh, static final uh, string so here I recommend you uh, type some word and select the corresponding uh, command instead of uh, manually write it by yourself because uh, sometimes you have uh, the typing error so that will cause that will uh, cause a problem tag uh, equal to let's call main activity main activity activity okay so uh, we'll uh, make a static initialization for the open cv static and check if the open cv loader open cv loader dot init debug uh, if the initialization uh, of OpenCV is okay, so we'll show the message. Uh, so here, if I I write the wrong command, so I cannot find it. Log dot d. Here we have tag, tag, and we show a message like uh, what open cv uh, successfully loaded so says says uh, fully loaded okay otherwise otherwise shows the message message that the open cv log dot d d mean the debug so tag will see the message when we debug the program uh, open cv not loaded not load load it okay so so the final thing we need to do is to go to the android monitor and set the filter so if you do not set the filter there will be a lot of uh, message in the locat and you you will uh, you will have difficulties to find your your, me your message so we'll call here is the open cv filter that is the name of filter and uh, the string you want to filter that is a main activity main activity okay so now we we are ready to run and we need to turn on the emulator i already have the emulator one emulator here so first time uh start the the emulator it will take about uh one minute and it much depend on your on your oh it take uh, less than a minute in my computer <clears throat> so here we can run we can run the open cv uh, test and select the emulator select the emulator ah the one thing uh, there are one error in here is uh, the op the NDK debug 
uh, the compiler debug NDK is uh, android.use deprecate NDK is true we need to set it inside the greater um, property here android dot uh, use uh, deprecate deprecate NDK is equal to true okay true save and build the query again it should be compiled without error so here we'll see it uh, successful build successful okay so let's try it again with our emulator <coughs> so because uh, the main activity we have nothing here so uh, just uh, the whole hello world message so we'll see the hello world in the emulator emulator in here but we also and we also see the message in the in the locat in the locat if we select the open cv printer we'll see it uh, much more easier yeah so you see here develop and uh, install the apk uh, the application on the device actual device or emulator uh, is quite slow it's quite slow <sighs> okay finally we see it the hello world and the open cv successfully loaded which is we wrote it in here open cv successfully loaded so now we are already uh we re we are ready to uh code on the open cv okay thank you for watching and uh if you uh, didn't subscribe subscribe it i will upload keep upload the new video uh weekly thank you for watching